So David, yeah, without further ado, why don't you just tell us a little bit about um, X Pastor and uh, how this ministry got started? Pretty simple story. I'm doing a dissertation for my doctor of ministry degree at Dallas Seminary. I go into the library in 2003, and I think I've lost my golden touch of researching. I was a pretty good researcher in the day. I found no extant literature on executive pastors in the whole huge library. I go up to the head research librarian, which is code for nerd of nerds, wonderful guy. And he looks at me, he says, hey, David. I said, hi, Marvin. Didn't even know he knew my name. And he said, are you, are you the executive pastor at Northwest Bible Church? Yes, I am. And he said, what is that role? That told me everything I needed to know. There was no literature on it. So that's why I started the website that now has 1,400 free articles on it, because we need a lot of help in this area, and not much is written for that focus group. I mean, yeah, I don't even know if this is possible, but could you even define, <laughs> like, the role of executive pastor? Is that possible? Well, there's three kinds of executive pastor. One is he, the overseer of ministry. Another oversees operations. And the third is what I call kind of the second in command. So there's three different flavors to the role and all sorts of titles. It doesn't matter what title you have. Head janitor might even work. Um, but what, what it is, is what function are you doing at the church? Are you overseeing a very significant amount of operations or ministry or the entire church? Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more finance, governance, and fundraising news and insights for your church or ministry.